بسم الله والحمد لله والصلاة والسلام على رسول الله وعلى آله وصحبه أجمعين أما بعد السلام عليكم ورحمة الله وبركاته The tenth juz of the Quran or the tenth para is a continuation of Surah Al-Anfal In fact it is the second half of Surah Al-Anfal and then after that, Surah Al-Tawbah. As for these remaining verses of Surah Al-Anfal, then basically Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala starts by mentioning or answering the question that was asked in the beginning of the Surah. Yes, alunaka an al-Anfal. They ask you concerning the spoils of war. What do we do with them? Allah answers this question here in the second half of the Surah. And so Allah mentions how it is to be divided, uh, what is for Allah, what is for the Messenger, and what is for the others. Uh, and then Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala reminds us that uh, the victory uh, that the believers had in the battle of Badr uh, was due not to uh, their military power or their large numbers, but rather it was due to their iman and their uh, perseverance and their patience uh, upon uh, you know fighting in the path of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala uh, and this is a recurring theme that we find throughout uh, the Quran uh, later on in the later verses uh, of Surah Al-Anfal Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala mentions uh, some of the rulings pertaining to the prisoners of war uh, and so uh, in the battle of Badr at the end of it uh, the Muslims had some prisoners of war, so what to do with them? Allah mentions some of the rulings pertaining to that. And then uh, at the very end of this surah, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala reminds us that uh, loyalty, uh, the, the loyalty, the true loyalty is, uh, you know, uh, that which is between, uh, you know, uh, the Muslim brothers. And so our loyalty is not based on ethnic lines or racial lines or uh, nationalistic lines and borders and boundaries but rather uh, it is uh, the bonds of Islamic brotherhood that uh, will give victory to the Muslims and this is something Allah clearly uh, outlines in the last verses of uh, Surah uh, Al-Anfal. Uh, after that uh, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala begins uh, Surah Al-Tawbah and uh, Surah Tawbah, which means repentance, uh, is the only Surah in the Quran that begins without Bismillah ar-Rahman ar-Rahim. And many scholars uh, of Tafsir, they mention that the reason for that is that uh, the Surah is uh, seen as a continuation of uh, Surah Al-Anfal, in that, uh, you know, the topic and the issues discussed are the same issues pertaining to war, pertaining to the rulings of jihad, and so on and so forth. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala begins uh, the surah by outlining uh, the limits of our pact uh, and, uh, you know, our, um, uh, you know, pact that we have with the enemies and with the disbelievers, that there are limits to it. Uh, and so Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala mentions these with regards to the pact that was between the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam and the mushrikun. Uh, also Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala mentions uh, in the beginning of this surah uh, concerning the uh, concerning uh, the fact that the mushrikun are najas and so they're not allowed to enter uh, the, the boundaries of Al-Haram, and that is uh, Mecca. Uh, and also, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala mentions uh, concerning the, the, the months of the year, and how they are uh, 12 months, and this is obviously referring to the lunar months, and this is obviously referring to the Islamic calendar. And so, this should give us, uh, you know, uh, this should basically uh, teach us that we should rely on our Islamic calendar rather than uh, the calendar that has been imposed upon us by uh, the kuffar. And Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala mentions 
concerning the 12 months that there are four months which are sacred and these four months are basically uh, the months in which uh, you know uh, they, they are basically uh, magnified and so sinning sinning in these months is greater than sinning in any other months of the year and these four months are basically Dhul-Qa'dah, uh, Dhul-Hijjah, Muharram and Rajab uh, also, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala mentions uh, here in Surah At-Tawbah uh, the eight categories uh, of people whom we are supposed to give our zakat, our uh, obligatory zakat to. And so zakat is not something uh, to be given just to anyone, but rather there are specific people and specific outlets for zakat, which Allah has mentioned here in uh, in this verse in Surat at tawbah uh, Also Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala uh, mentions uh, here in Surat at tawbah uh, He encourages the believers to go out and fight in jihad. And Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala uh, mentions that you know uh, we should go out and fight when we are called upon to do so and we should not uh, give any excuses. And so Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala basically mentions that the hypocrites, uh, when the call for jihad was announced, they would become lazy and they would refrain from going out. And so Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala mentioned that they would, uh, the hypocrites would put forward all kinds of excuses uh, to the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam when the time came to go out for jihad. And uh, this was basically uh, concerning one of the last uh, battles that the Prophet ﷺ went out for, and that was the Battle of Tabuk. That was the Battle of Tabuk. And so, uh, you know, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala mentions uh, here in Surah At-Tawbah uh, quite some detail, quite some detail regarding the characteristics of the, the hypocrites and also the characteristics of the believers. And Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala basically uh, at the very end of this juz, at the very end of this juz in Surah At-Tawbah, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala uh, prohibits the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam from seeking any help from the hypocrites and also he forbade them, uh, he, uh, Allah forbade the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam from seeking forgiveness for these hypocrites and also uh, he forbade him from uh, praying over their dead bodies. وَلَا تُصَلِّ عَلَىٰ أَحَدٍ مِّنْهُمْ مَاتَ أَبَدًا And so these are uh, some of the uh, you know, lessons that can be derived from this juz, the 10th juz of the Qur'an. And inshallah ta'ala in the next session, in the next juz, we continue until the end of Surah At-Tawbah. Until then, subhanaka Allahumma wa bihamdik, ashhadu an la ilaha illa anta astaghfiruka wa atubu ilayk, wassalamu alaykum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh.